Bastion Booger versus Crush. So I was, I was, I enjoyed this because of listening How dare you? to commentary. Because these guys, there was are a line. Just, God, they fucking buried Bastion Booger. I mean, first off, he was buried by giving, being given the name Bastion Booger, and uh, he clearly didn't give a fuck what they had him do. I mean, that's true. You know, he was a friar, and then he was Bastion Booger. They're talking about how he stinks and what's that smell and all this. And then I, I should have written down it word for I, word. I have Did one, you? I have one quote from Vince. I don't know when I, Vince saw it. I well the the hump. No, okay. before that. Uh, I don't know that. Okay, so uh, Bash and Booger he ends up outside and there's like like a close up and he looks up and he goes ah because he's always doing these weird voices. And Vince absolutely, matter of fact, very quietly just says, "He is in fact a very ugly man." Yes, this Booger. <laughs> I laughed, and I laughed, and I re <laughs> It was so, like, it wasn't even like he was trying to insult the guy. It was like he was a scientist. He is factually a very ugly man, this booger. The, the line I wrote down is later when Vince is talking about his physique. And, he, and this is a quote. Look at the flaps, if you would, hanging from the lower abdomen of Bastion Booger. You are right. The commentary was the highlight. By far. Uh, they also claimed... Crush and Bash and Booger. Dude, this sounded awful on paper and was a hundred times worse. Listen, I'm sure this Bash and Booger fellow was a nice enough guy. I actually have no idea. i just like to say that. <laughs> but he fucking would not go up for anything. No. They went for a backdrop, and this fucking guy decided... I'm not going to give this guy anything. I'm not taking a backdrop today. And and Crush, he, he you know what's funny was and Crush is massively powerful. What's funny is it's only six days later, five days later, that uh, Lex Luger gives Yokozuna the body slam, and uh, Bobby Heenan talks about it being a hip toss. Yeah, that's exactly what this was. Crush tries to hoist this guy. This fucker does not go up, and he just tips over. And Vince goes, big! Well, it really wasn't much of a back body drop. <laughs> and so, then Savage goes, no, it wasn't. Yeah, so crushed. And then there was a suplex attempt later. Uh, Guy didn't go up. Yeah. It was crushes. It's a vertical fucking suplex, it, it, bruh. It, it turned into a Falcon Arrow 1 accident. God! Because crushes <laughs> fell. And it's not his fault. Not mad at Crush. No, this was not Crush's fault. No, no, no. So there was something like a Samoan drop or something. He tried and Bastion says, nah. <laughs> Not today, friend. Now, on top of this, so, okay, Chris says, all right, I can't, you won't let me do any, any of my power moves. I guess we'll just brawl. They're brawling. And it is Booger. I think about this. It was, he's just standing there. There's a six foot, six theater pound Hawaiian slugging away at you. Pretend it hurts. I have not seen Bash and Booger, either as Bash and Booger or Friar Ferguson. Not one time. Have I watched him on the show, and he's looked like he's given two fucks about anything he's doing. No. He looks like he doesn't care. He's getting his paycheck, and like he doesn't care if he ever gets one again. Yes. He's just totally in there doing as little as humanly possible. And he was employed for a while. Well, I, think he's around, I think he's left like a Survivor Series is still that's around. amazing. Him. Maybe yeah. he gets better. He has to. <laughs> You'd think, but yeah, we don't absolutely. know. He cannot get worse than this. We'll, we'll find out. Now. I have no evidence he gets better, Vinny. The, the, so, as a match, this was by miles the worst thing we've seen on a retro raw. And I thought about this. Because mm -hmm. there was that terrible tag match with the Bushwhackers and Repo Man or somebody. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. This, until the finish, was much worse than that. I promise you, much worse. I'm screaming at my screen to end the match somehow. Dude, Josiah here, who's been watching all of the Retro Raws, and he's, a, he's ahead of us, he says he doesn't get better. He gets worse. No. <laughs> well, we need to find a new show to watch this. And then he adds, wait until you hear him on commentary. What? What? Okay, so I will, in defense of this match. This I got to hear. The finish was executed correctly. And what it needed to be for this match on this show. Because Crush couldn't lift this guy all night long. And Crush is one of the guys who's going to be on that boat trying to slam Yokozuna. And finally, Crush makes his comeback. And he pumps up the crowd. And he's doing the fist shaking thing. And he grabs his 400 dude. And at the end, he went up. And Crush does a 
big giant body slam, gets him way up in the air, slams him down. I forgot the finish. Then he did it two more times to show he could do it. And then he pinned him. He yep. pinned him with three body slams. Yes. That was the finish. Yes. But What's the finish? I'm going to body slam you <laughs> three times. And do it again. Stay down. But the whole thing is, this is the go-home segment to plug Crush trying to body slam an even bigger guy on Sunday. Well, of course. Right. So he, the fact he pulled it off here, and, and when he pulled it off, it worked. The last, like, 15 seconds of this was good. The prior five minutes, a horror show. You know, it's funny that, uh, you know, say what you want about Luger in WWE, but, you know, Hogan, Hogan's gone, and Vince immediately needs a new Hulk Hogan. Yes. And who's the big jacked up dude? It's got to be Luger. And so he comes up with this idea. And it's actually, like, it's a pretty brilliant idea. We're going to do the USS Intrepid on the 4th of July. The the big, evil, pretend Japanese guy who's really large None of these mainstream, I don't know about mainstream, but, you know, none of these names, these non-wrestling names are going to be able to slam him. And then this fucker is going to show up at the last minute on a goddamn helicopter. He's going to body slam this guy. He's going to be the American hero. We're going to do a fucking bus tour. And then we're going to go to SummerSlam. Okay. I can't say the history of wrestling might have been different if he would have beaten Yokozuna at SummerSlam. But for sure, him not winning at SummerSlam and doing that big fucking celebration when every fan knew, what are you celebrating for, brother? You didn't win the title. And then obviously by, you know, Royal Rumble, the fans had chosen bread, and then, you know, away we go. I don't know what would have happened if if uh, if things would have changed at SummerSlam. But I do know that Vince did a pretty fucking great job building this guy up. I mean, he knew his shit. And you could see it on this whole show was about building up the intrepid. This whole show was about getting over the idea of body slamming a guy. And, of course, Crush is not going to be able to body slam uh, Yokozuna, which leads to uh, Luger showing up. But it's actually, it's it's very, very clear. We don't see this kind of anything from Vince nowadays. He's not this clever anymore. But mm -hmm. it was actually a really great idea at the time. But we didn't make another Hulk Hogan. He was easily the best worker on this show. Crush? Vince. Oh, yes. Oh, Vince, for sure, yes. yeah. Not even by miles. Actually, yes. It was a very different Vince back then. Yeah. And Vinny's driven all the way here, and his camera's not working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. Oh, Riveting. right. Yep, we go that way. Yeah, nope, I, wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh, the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, hey oh, there hey. he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.